To read a single document from an index, we get from the underscore doc resource, adding the ID of the document we want to read to the end of the URI. We can read the document with ID one like this. The response contains a lot of the same information we saw after we indexed the document. Notice the document we're getting is inside a key called underscore source. When you index a document, Elasticsearch, well, Lucene, updates a lot of internal data structures with details from your document to make queries fast and efficient. When you run a query, Lucene will use those data structures and rarely, if ever, need to look at the original document that you indexed. Even though Lucene may not need the original document, you likely will. So it's kept in the index and referred to as underscore source. When we get a document from the index using the underscore doc resource, the original document is returned in the underscore source field. If you're not interested in the system fields like underscore index and underscore version, you can get just the source by using the underscore source resource instead of underscore doc. You're also able to check if a document exists without reading the entire document by using the head verb instead of get. The response code would be 200 if the document exists and 404 if it doesn't. The other way to read documents is to run a query and read the results. I'll be giving an introduction to queries in a later section, but here's a request you can run in Kibana that will match all documents in the index. Each match document is called a hit. An Elasticsearch will only return 10 hits by default, even if your query matches more. You can see more than 10 hits by adding a size attribute to the query, setting the value to say 100 and rerunning the query. So now we've got documents in the index. We know how to read some documents from the index. Let's have a quick look at updating some documents.